All right. Just partially working on my Digimon piece at the moment. It's looking pretty scary so far. Uh, I don't know. I've been wanting to use the blog channel and just do more stuff, but I always feel like if I'm doing a vlog, I've got to show my face and I've got to be interesting and then it puts so much pressure but uh, that's not what vlog channels are about right they're meant to be no pressure bullshittery kind of getting to know the people that you follow so i don't know i'll try and do some more some more stuff just chilling in my studio today with aka half of my bedroom it's just my studio <laughs> it's a bit messy but there's Pabs, he's just having a little nap on his chair because he has to follow me around everywhere and uh, I just brought his chair in here from the lounge room because he was sucking one to sit on my lap but I couldn't have him on my lap and stand and draw at the same time so yeah but yeah so at the moment I'm just working on some pieces for Avcon I've been pretty quiet online lately just because I haven't finished anything and I also don't just want to like post new pieces straight onto like social media before I've gone like I want some things to be a surprise which will be good like yeah so I've just been working on this piece which I like actually did the pencils for quite a while ago and so I've just basically kind of redone it I like the composition um I mean it could be better but I wanted to use stuff that I had before, um, just kind of pose them interestingly. I'm going to have like some, this isn't what I'm putting in the background, but something similar to this with like a bit of a starburst effect, like so the light is coming out all dynamic like, I don't know, I'll figure it out as I do it. Um, because yeah, I've been wanting to do like Digimon pieces for quite a long time and I'm always like, Oh, I, you know, like I can't draw them well enough. I'm not going to finish it. Blah, blah, blah. And this is the other one I've just finished, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, yeah. Again, could be better, but I'm just getting back into doing digital art at the moment. Um, speaking of which, I will show you my new toy. So, this, if I can show it well enough on here, if it's going to lighten up. This is my new toy aka uh, a Cintiq 24 inch yes this is my first ever Cintiq um, I've always used Wacom products I've had two tablets in the past both Intuoses and I've loved them to death and I I just yeah I've always wanted one so I just basically worked out some loans and shit to finally get one and so I've got it standing up on a fairly tall cabinet so that I can draw standing up, which is much better for you. I've just got like a wireless keyboard and a mouse and my pen and everything here. I've got the stupid, <laughs> the very stupid looking glove, which you use because like to use on the screen, you don't want to have the oils from your hands smudging it up. And it's just, I don't know, like slides a lot better when you're drawing. Um, I'll probably do like a proper review video at some point about my experiences so far with this Cintiq. Um, it's been a learning curve, but there are some good things and bad things. When I bought this, I had no idea just how big and heavy it was, that it was permanently attached to the stand and I couldn't take it off, um, which is very frustrating because it's actually almost too heavy for the lift by myself, which <laughs> says a lot because like I'm pretty strong. So <laughs> not bragging or nothing, but you know, hit the gym every now and then. Um, but yeah, it's really good because I can like adjust the angles here. I need two hands to do that, so I won't do that on camera. Um, adjust it and tilt it. So this is like pretty much upright right now. And then I can tilt it like this, which is good. So if I'm standing over it, you know, I can do different stuff. Um, the pen's pretty good. Every now and then I've had like a couple of tablet like driver issues. I don't know if I'm still getting used to blogging, so <laughs> it's hard to maneuver around. Um, I've had a few driver issues with it saying that the pen is not a registered product <laughs> or it's not compatible but it just comes up every now and then which is quite frustrating. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Like I do have the most up-to-date drivers and everything like that and this computer can handle everything quite beautifully. Um, yeah the program we're using at the moment is Paint Tool Sci which I absolutely love and I'm sure a lot of people 
For digital art, I have heard of Paint to the Side before, so I won't need to go into it, but it's pretty good. It's kind of like a comfort zone for me. You can get a lot more like crisp sort of lines and stuff. Like this looks very creepy right now because this is just a flat and I haven't, I always do like the eye shines and shading loss, so it looks creepy as hell. <laughs> it won't be that bad when it finishes. Um, but at the moment, like I've got Photoshop on here, I've got Mega Studio and Critter, which is a free program I'm still gonna try out soon and see how that goes. And I've got Hypercam 2 to try doing some, um, like, uh, oh my god, time lapses. I haven't used it too much yet. I should have, like, for while I'm doing the Digimon pieces, but it's been like <laughs> a whole lot of back and forth. I didn't really want to, like, film, but. I should to put some digital art time lapses up for you guys. Um, yeah, Mega Studio Pro. I haven't finished any pieces in there. I kind of played around with it. It's got some pretty cool stuff. Let's open it up very quickly. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the novelty of like actually having a Cintiq. Like, it's made uh, some bits just so much faster. Like, inking, I feel like is 10 times better. Just having, like, oh, is it going to work? There you go. So, there's like, a bunch of sort of novelty brushes which are kind of fun to do but um for the most part it is super fucking slow so i don't know um like tra <laughs> basically you can make your own tramp stamp here excellent tattoo design at its best but yeah it's really fucking slow on here i don't know why um it might just be like a settings thing but I just haven't used it much because it's too slow and inking in it is a bit of a nightmare. The paint to size is working amazingly. Photoshop, I need to fix up some settings and I'll probably do some pieces in there. I'll use that for final touches. I can't get like the brush settings I want, but this is the most up-to-date version of Photoshop CC, I'm pretty sure. So it's just got, I guess, a few features that I need to get used to. And of course, I've set up my little Digimon altar here. Um... <laughs> This vlog is just basically <laughs> Digimon. So this is my um, Beelzemon figurine from the recent releases that they've done. And my little Impmon there. I love it so much. Like, I don't normally buy a whole lot of figurines. But I just had to because I had to have them. And this is my old Beelzemon who I don't even know if, like, if it's official brand or anything like that. But he's pretty cool. He needs, like, actually moves as well as articulated. Got some of the like Digimon domes down here, um, which these are new from Blind Bags. So I only got a couple. I want to get more. <laughs> I'm just really poor at the moment, but I'm hoping that they'll have some at Avcon. Hashtag promotion Avcon coming up soon. Um, and I have Renamon and Rika here, which fucking badass. Like, I love it so much. Anyways, I guess I'll probably like close the vlog and um. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you actually watch these vlogs, I'm still, I don't know. I'm still trying to revamp my YouTube channel and work out what direction I want to go and go in with it. Um, I do kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like vlogs would be good. A little bit like less pressure and stuff. I'm just showing you my sick ass wall, which I put together. Um, might do like a little tour of that sometime. Anyway, guys, yeah, I will see you in my next video on my main channel or this vlog channel. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, till next time, keep drawing. Mm -hmm.